Chai tea is delicious, so why not cook with it? It has great spice in it, and it's got great flavors. So I'm gonna make chai tea mussels. Because I'm using chai tea, I thought, man, that would be a great way to bring in some ginger, onions, and garlic. It's the holy trinity in Indian cooking, and it's gonna go so well with the spices in the chai tea. Cardamom, cinnamon, cloves, ginger, onions, garlic, it all makes perfect sense. Into a hot pan, oil, and the holy trinity. A little bit of seasoning, not much, just a whisper, a Disney sprinkle. I just want to season the veg, not the mussels, because they have a really good ocean saltiness, and they can go right in. Big. The smell in here is incredible. Now, I can't have mussels without a little bit of butter, and this part goes very quick. So a pretty generous piece of butter. And I like some good citrus in mine, so the juice of a lime. Now we need liquid to cook it, right? Chai tea. Just a little bit. The mussels are gonna release their own natural juices and I just wanna kiss it with the flavor of the chai tea. Put the lid on and let the magic happen. I can tell that they're done because they're all open. When you buy them, they should be closed and when they're cooked, they're open. No fuss here. A little bit of fresh coriander or cilantro. And I wouldn't substitute any other herb. I love the sweet taste and the firm texture of the mussel. And it's not overpowered at all by the chai tea. It's so fun putting tea into seafood recipes. It really works. And with the ginger and the onions and the garlic, it makes sense.